home. This is a day in the life of Shiv. Um, we're doing a footballer um, today. Called, I'm not really sure how you say his name. I think it's Harry Hain or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, we've loaded the van up. Um, we're good to go. But before we do that, I'm just going to make a quick coffee. So it's just half a teaspoon of coffee. And then half a teaspoon of sugar. Then we're good to go. Right, so that's us all loaded. Um, yeah, we're moving a footballer today. So they have a lot of clothes. We've got a lot of wardrobe boxes on. Um, fair few TV protectors on. Um, but yeah, got a couple of extra boxes as well, just in case they, they forgot to pack stuff. So that, that's there ready. A couple of rolls of bubble. And yeah, that's it. Right, so we're on the way now. On the way to the footballer, Connor Harain. I still don't know how to say his name. Um, oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so these moves, absolutely love doing these moves. Um, there tends to be a little bit of packing as well. And then when we get to the new house, we tend to do a little bit of an unpack as well, just to help them out a bit better. Really laid back moves. Um, and I'm probably, I'm guessing you're wondering how I got my nickname Shiv. Um, and the surname's Timbrel, so it was, I thought it would be a good idea to call me Timber. And then obviously we all know the same shiver me timbers, so that's how I've got the name Shiv. <laughs> right guys, we've arrived, we're here now, here's the house. Um, we're just gonna have a little tour around the house. We've already met the Pope, they're both, both lovely people. Uh, we're just gonna go and see what, what's got to come on the vans first and get some protectors on. <laughs> Right, first thing we've got to do is get this stair gate off. Um, they've obviously got it on for the kids. Um, as soon as I get it off, that just means we can get everything down nice and easy with nothing in the way. Right, we've got um, door protector here. Just under the Velcros. Just pop this over like that. Just prevents any damage to the front door. Yeah, it's better here, isn't it? From her, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them up and put them on the floor. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, when I was done, the bunny's cage. It's the bunny's cage, quite big. Any furniture? Right, so you know those uh, 16 wardrobe boxes we mentioned earlier? We don't actually need them as they've, uh, they've already sorted them out, so we have to load all of these ones onto there. And then hopefully we can use a half of a van just to finish the van off. Right then, uh, <laughs> so the pigeon bags as well we're having to load up because we don't need them either, they've done them. Uh, and the TV they've done as well, so not really sure what we're going to do today. upstairs and then we'll do like um, the cab bits. Right then we're going to start loading up now. Ideally we want stuff like this on first because the, obviously the, the bigger and heavier items at the front of the van uh, but we've got a little cab space above so we're going to use the soft bits like this. Nice little teddy and this massive giraffe. Yeah that's a giraffe. Um, yeah so items like that we'll start with.
test them out. Um, wardrobe? Or not? So the bed's out, mattress is down and protected. We've just got this massive headboard to get down, the two side tables, and just these few items here, and then that's like this room done. Right, so those, those of you that don't know, when it comes to stacking, we like to get the, the bigger stuff on first, the more bulkier items uh, to the front of the van, and then any like bags and stuff, we just, or headboards, we just slide on the top, fill as much of the van as possible and then as it comes to the back just sort of bring it down a bit just so it's not too full and too heavy yeah. Yeah. just come across this wardrobe and there is some hanging clothes to do so thankfully we've got some wardrobe boxes for that So you got yeah, a bit. Yeah, you get it right from the bottom. I'll yeah. Straight, okay? Yeah, go on. All right. Yep. Okay, mate. One more. Yep. Do you reckon we'll get the turn as it is? upstairs done as you can see it's all nice and empty our Dino just doing the last bit of dismantling all empty what we'd like to do is close the doors behind the empty rooms as well and then we've just got downstairs to do and then out here for the garage which isn't too bad oh <laughs> Smooth. Right, as you can see, that van's getting pretty full now. Uh, we have got the other van, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the remainder of the black boxes on, and then we'll do a cheeky little van swap.
Right then, that's it. Upstairs is done, downstairs is done. We've got the last item here ready to go on. And then, yeah, we're off to the new place. Right, finally lunchtime. I'm absolutely starving. Uh, we found a subway, which is 10 minutes away from the new address, which isn't too bad. Um, I'm just umming and ahhing about what to have. I think I'm going to go for a tuna foot long, I think. Nice and boring. What are you going to have, Fraze? <laughs> oh, you cheeky bugger. Yeah, we're nearly there. Right, we're here. We just um, arrived at the new address. Absolutely lovely area. Um, Dean's just reversed onto the drive now. And yeah, let's get going. Right, we're here. Um, as you can see, unbelievable property. Um, we've got to be careful of stuff like this. As you can see, they're everywhere. But I will show you one thing while we're here. Look at this. Don't mind that. Ooh. There's nothing on my nine bedroom mansion though. <laughs> And of course, we've got to be careful here because this gap here is quite small, so we're going to have to be quite careful with how we carry stuff up, but we'll just take our time with it, it'll be absolutely fine. Not bad. Okay, then. Right, so we've got the washer and the dryer coming off next. Um, we unplumbed them from the, the old house, so we're gonna plumb in, plumb them in, so we're gonna put plumb them back in, do that again. Dryer coming, coming. <laughs> God! So we're gonna plumb them back in at the new house for them. Yeah, it's going great. I've um, just sorted the plumbing out. And uh, look at what I'm working with. I've got to try and get my hand in, into here somehow. I'm sure it won't be a problem though. Back to, back to, get that. Three, two, three. Mm -hmm. A lot easier than the uh, washing machine. <laughs> Here I stand alone. You okay with them, mate? I think so. Won't need the hand with the bigger one. You know them things you're meant to be careful of. <laughs> But it is bigger. Yeah. It's the corners. Got a mod What? Take the stuff out and have it upside down, mate. Yeah, so the. Does the, the, the handrail just go all the way up? No. But it does on the. Because yeah. you think where the stairs go and then the stairs come back on themselves. Yeah. The rail goes up, don't it? With... Tell us what you're trying to work out right now. Yeah, we're trying to work out without moving it just yet that the wardrobe's bigger than a divan and, the, and up the stairs, the divans were very tight as you saw. And obviously it's all like new fresh walls and stuff. So we're just gonna have a little assessment and see, see what's best. Let's go for it then. I don't think we should take the base up first. Base up yeah, first. just get it out of the way. Just in case it don't go up. Yeah. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to like kind of come into there. Yeah. And then turn it. 
Haven't we? We're gonna have to go. Because you know we had to do that and it's thinner, isn't it? I was able to spin into there. But yeah, it's gonna have to come straight up. It's gonna have to come straight up into there and then round straight. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Keep it on the angle, yeah? Yeah. And then go flat. Yeah, just watch your top hand. Yeah, yeah. I think might have to just go to you. Touch yeah, more. that's fine. That's it. Now, you've got to try and keep it straight, but on, off, double, off the ceiling. Yeah, so use the height and then... Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Do one step at a time, mate. Go on. Yeah, to you. <laughs> okay. Hey, mate, same again. Yeah. One step. Yeah. Just need to get that plinth over it. Clint. Ready? Yep. Top, 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 top. Come round. Come on. Three, three, That's, That's it. it, you got it. Nice. Do you want me to lift up? Yeah, it's gonna And then I can, I can come down a step then. Downwards. Okay, mate. Yep. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Underneath it, mate. Go on. Okay. Up on top, next step, where did it go? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Come down. Yep. Yeah, behind it. Okay. We've got the height now, so yeah. we can go on to that step. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Can you get out? Can you get out? Yeah, go on. Yep. Right. Ready? Yeah, up onto the last step. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. The fact that you have to go down to come back up again. <laughs> right then, this is all we've got left now to do and it's all going into the garage. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> right back at the unit, just got to unload these last few protectors and then that's us done. Right, that's a wrap, the protectors are done, back at the unit, and now we're over to Warren. Thanks, mate. No problem. Thanks guys for watching episode one of season two. Meet Adam Timbro, AKA Shiv, the guy with the round head stood next to me with the long fin head. <laughs> We're enjoying this already. I'm gonna be watching this as a fan, so I don't know what's coming. Uh, we hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you next month.